Do you have a serve like this? In other words, a waiter serve where there's absolutely no racket drop and the racket face is open. It looks like a waiter tray, like you're serving somebody food on a waiter tray like this. If you have a serve like this, this might not be that big of a problem, but it's gonna depend on several factors. Let's say that you're just starting with tennis. You've recently picked it up and you're serving like this. Don't worry. If you learn the fundamentals of the serve, if you concentrate on the most important aspects of the service motion, which is gonna be sinking the toss arm with the hitting arm, a lot of people fail in this regard. They are very uncomfortable tossing the ball at the same time taking the racket back. I've made several videos where I can make your life a lot easier by teaching you how to compartmentalize the serve. I'm gonna put a link of a YouTube video that you can watch in my description. So don't worry. If you're a newbie to tennis, by learning the fundamentals and continuing to add different fundamental elements to your serve, this waiter serve will go away. I've seen it in hundreds of cases. However, there are some players out there who have been playing tennis for 10 years, 20 years, sometimes even 30 and 40 years, and have always had a waiter serve. In other words, it's a chronic waiter serve. I'm sure you've seen players like this at your local club, or maybe you are one of those players who suffers from a chronic waiter serve. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you three agonizing progressions to get rid of the chronic waiter serve. Yes, you heard right. These are not gonna be three easy ways to get rid of the waiter serve because that's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm gonna explain why in a minute. These are gonna be three agonizing ways to get rid of the waiter serve. And let me now tell you why that is. The entire reason why you have a way to serve is the ball. You are trying to make contact with the ball. It's a very intuitive thing that's happening. In fact, it happens to every single beginner. I have not seen one beginner player who approaches the serve with the edge. This doesn't make sense. This is a counter intuitive movement. So beginner tennis players intuitively will open the strings towards the ball very early and this guarantees them that they will indeed make contact with the ball. Now some of these players never took lessons or took lessons and didn't take them seriously or took bad lessons. Whatever the case may be, they got stuck with a waiter serve and now all this repetition throughout the years has made it very difficult if not impossible to get rid of this chronic waiter serve. So I've had many examples of players with a chronic waiter serve throughout the years and some are so frustrated with it, they just don't wanna work on it because they know exactly what's going to happen. And that's the following thing. These players will go through the progressions that I'm gonna show you in today's video. And they do well with these progressions. They execute them correctly. And when it's time to hit a normal serve, guess what happens? They go right back into the waiter tray serve. So for that reason, I'm calling these three progression agonizing because it's gonna take a lot of time, but not only that, it's also gonna take commitment and perseverance. You can't give up. You have to continue to put in the work to break this bad muscle memory that you have developed through the years. So what you need to do regarding these three progressions, you need to give yourself a lot of time. Set a goal of a year or maybe two years to get rid of the way to serve. It is gonna be absolutely impossible to get rid of a chronic way to serve in one lesson or by watching one video, this is going to be a marathon and you have to be committed to getting rid of this problem because let's face it, this is a bad problem. Pronation into the contact is a very important fundamental element of the serve, but not only that, a racket drop is a huge power source. So if your racket is going to here, you don't have pronation into the contact and you don't have a racket drop either, you are gonna lack a tremendous amount of power potential and you'll never be able to serve to your full capacity. In other words, the range of motion is extremely limited when you indeed have a way to serve. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you the progressions that are quite simple. And the first progression is that we're right away going to start from the correct approach towards the ball. This is gonna be very uncomfortable because it's gonna be a quite an unnatural position for you to get into, especially if you're not used to it. So what you have to do is put the tip of the racket down towards the ground this is going to depend on your flexibility and you're also going to have the edge going towards the ball and you're going to toss the ball to yourself and simply think about high-fiving 
the ball. Now you're gonna do 50 of these. The next progression is gonna be the Jay Berger serve. Remember the player who was in the top 10, Jay Berger, who had a very bad shoulder injury? He served like this. He put the racket in the back scratch position, so to speak. So this is exactly what I want you to do on the second progression. You're gonna start here. You're gonna to toss the ball up. You're gonna whip the racket out to the side and you're going to serve the ball over the net. And finally, the third progression is gonna be starting from the trophy phase and then going into your racket drop, whipping the racket out and making contact with the ball. Now you're gonna do 50 repetitions of each one. Is it important that the ball goes in? This is one of the only circumstances where I don't care that much whether the ball goes in or not because these are gonna be very unnatural positions that you're putting yourself into. So don't look too much into where the ball is going. We're just working on breaking the muscle memory. Let me go through the progressions one more time. First one, the rack is gonna be right here. You're gonna to toss the ball up and high five the ball. You don't even have to worry about finishing it. Now, the second progression is gonna be the Jay Berger serve. When you start in the back scratch, you whip the racket out and make contact with it. And then the third progression is gonna be from the trophy phase. You're gonna go in and out like that. Now mind you that if you're having trouble with each individual progression, you hold off on advancing in the progression. So in other words, if you're doing pretty good with the first one, you can do 50 of these, progress to the next one. If you're having trouble with the J Burger progression, in other words, you start in with a back scratch, but then the racket comes out like this, and it's not time for you yet to go to the second progression. So it's gonna depend a little bit on your development. It would be good if someone is uh, next to you that they can take a look, but also, if you don't have access to a coach or someone that can keep an eye on you, you can record yourself and keep track of what you're doing. Now here's the hard truth that you probably don't wanna hear, and it's the following one. Once you, let's say, hit 200 serves with these progressions, and you take a real serve, what's likely gonna happen is that you're still gonna have a way to trace serve. And this is where a lot of people give up, okay? They pay money for a lesson, and the coach tries hard to work with them to get rid of these problems. But then the student gets frustrated because they think, oh, this is all a waste of time. I'm never gonna be able to get rid of my waiter serve. I keep serving like this no matter what. And then they completely abandon the hard work that it's gonna to take to get rid of this problem. So therein lies the issue that people get so frustrated with the work that they have to do. They get frustrated with the lack of results that they're achieving, they want a quick fix, and they give up, and now they're stuck with a waiter serve for the rest of their tennis life. So what I'm telling you is something that I told you in the beginning of the video. You have to be patient, you have to persevere, you have to work hard. Remember that tennis is a marathon, not a sprint, and there is a way to get rid of a chronic waiter serve, but it is gonna take a lot of work.